When you start studying primates, you discover we have so many things in common with them. The way they live in family groups, sharing the care for the babies, their cohesion among the family members. They have so many things to teach us, and one of them is the importance of communication for survival. Gabriela Hezenje is a project coordinator for IPE, the Institute for Ecological Research. For nine years, she has continued the Black Lion Tamarin Conservation Program that began 35 years ago in Pontal do Parana Panema with primatologist Claudio Padua, who won the Whitley Award in 1999, and 2002 winner Lauri Cullen. I'm carrying on the baton, using what my predecessors have learned before me to make a better future for the Black Lion Tamarins. Their home is the Atlantic Forest, simultaneously one of the richest and most threatened biodiversity hotspots on the planet. Now the black lion tamarind's once vast home exists predominantly as small patches of isolated forest. For the last 35 years, Work to reconnect tamarind populations by planting forest highways has seen the restoration of Brazil's largest corridor with nearly three million trees linking the remaining patches. But to save them in the long term, Gabriela and her team need to manage their fragmented population to avoid inbreeding. She'll also need continued help from local people in replanting their home with saplings grown in community-run nurseries. Whitley Award funding will play an essential role in ensuring the Black Lion Tamarind's survival and engaging people in the protection of the Atlantic Forest through citizen science. The project aims to establish 45,000 hectares of continuous habitat, benefiting a host of other species. I continue to be inspired by those in my field. I can learn a lot from them. And I believe that now, after many years, we can do a lot for the Black Lion Tamarind conservation, especially if we work together. <laughs>